hi everyone welcome back to my channel in this video we will connect database with our custom shopify app so as you can see currently we have hard coded data we need to connect the data base so we can fetch the real data from our database so open the vs code right now we have this hard coded dummy data so let's connect it to the database the first thing you are going to do you are going to install the mongoose i am going to use mongodb for the database so you will type npm install mongoose okay so let me just uh, confirm the spelling m o n g double o s mongoose you will install the mongoose and once in, it is installed let's close that and next thing you are going to create you are going to create a db folder over here in the app and inside that you will have a connect.js file in this file i have imported mongoose from the mongoose npm modules and this is the function we are going to run we will pass the url in connect db and return the mongoose dot connect dot url and we will export that function the next thing you are going to do you will create a model i have a model announcement bar.js here you will define all the database fields so i have a long list of this database so currently we are adding shop the name of the announcement bar type content and etc so this is a huge list so i will share the code so you can copy and paste this model so this is our model and next we will go to our app and app.announcement.jsx file and in as you know in remix we have a loader function in the loader function let me just uh, copy and paste the code and i will explain you we have a loader function in loader function we have a request in object so whenever we hit this url we can get the uh, request object then we will connect to the database the connect db which is the function we are going to import from this file connect db and we will pass the mongodb url i have my mongodb url saved in the env file where i am fetching that url where my password and username and the string is saved so you can grab your database url from mongodb and you can save that in the env file once we are connected then we need a session we can we can authenticate our request and then uh, we need to import this function from uh, let me just copy and paste these these functions we need to import uh, connect db from that uh, from the connect folder authenticate from the shopify server and announcement bar from the model which we have created so here in the bottom we are using authenticate.admin and we will re it will authenticate our request and it will create a new session and we can console log this session okay if if we the session is uh, if we have a session then we can uh, grab the announcement bar, bar from the database otherwise we will say unauthorized 
axis so if if you reload this page if you reload this page and and if you see the log you will see let me you will see we have a session and in this session we have a shop url state is online scope and everything we have over here so i need shop to fetch the relative announcement bar uh, from for this shop so my query is announcement await announcement bar dot find where shop is equal to session dot shop so if i show you my database i have some records already there where my shop id is this and the name of uh, the announcement name is this and time is this so i have a different shops like this is a different shop so i need only the record of related to my shop so if i console log if i console log here announcements and you will see i will have the all the record related to this shop so json is not defined we need to import that as well so let me import that from the remix rian or you can say over here no need to type extra line here so we need to import the json over here and now if you see we have the database records okay these are these are the database records are coming from the database and in the remix we can return this these database records over here and let's see them in the front end this is our back end and now grab them in the front end where we are using the hard coded announcement for that we need to uh, use loader data so let's copy const data is equal to use loader data and if we console log data over here and we will now we can see these records on the front end so if i inspect this and console do you see we have all the records which are saved in the announcements so we can use these announcement over here currently you see we have only one two three four five announcements so let's make them dynamic and remove this variable let's move this variable and console log as well and as you can see we have announcement object over here so we can say announcement over here and this is the variable we are using to loop through all the announcement save that and remove the extra stuff and I just remove the, this and now if you reload the page we have these records from the database spring sale black friday deals and these are coming from the database so if i change the first one big uh, spring sale in the database you will notice that change will be applied over here so let's try to change that spring sale updated version and i will update this in the database and if i go here and reload the page And you will notice we have updated version so this is how you can connect your database with your custom Shopify app in the next video we will work on the new announcement so we can add the data into the database and then we will update the database and delete uh, update the record and then we will delete the record so we will have a full crowd application in our custom app so i hope you like my video and if you have any question you can 
comment below thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video